ready for another edition of the Mr. and Mrs. Show. I'm certainly ready. I'm always excited to meet new couples and discuss love and marriage with them and always learn something new. So welcome to the show. I'm your host, Kokui Salome Hansen. And tonight, we're going to be talking to Mr. and Mrs. Dadson. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Good Thank you. to have you here. Okay. You know how we do this. We want to know the very beginning of this relationship. We want to know how you started it all and how you've come this far in your marriage. So why don't we start off with the very basics, how you met the first time you laid eyes on each other. This is why don't we start with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we met in 2013. Okay. Yes, on campus. Legon oh, campus. I see. All right, yes. students. Okay. The first time I saw him was at the lecture hall mm -hmm. when he came to deliver his, um, how do you call it? Um, My campaign speech? <laughs> yes, campaign <laughs> speech. Oh, I yeah. see. What, what was he campaigning for? SLC treasure. I see. Okay, all right. So you see this young man running for office on campus. What was your first impression? Oh. <laughs> okay, actually that day, um, I didn't have anything, like I didn't feel anything for him. Okay. I just admired him from afar. I see. What was it yes. about him that you admired? Okay, I just passed the comment that he looks like my sister. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes, on a more serious note. Yes. That's so funny. <laughs> so he reminded you of your sister. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, so my, um, I like, I'm very jovial. I can so, tell. Yes, you like you. <laughs> my, my, my friends were laughing over it and all oh, that. Yes. So he's up there giving his nice campaign speech and you guys are watching him <laughs> and laughing. Exactly. Oh, Charlie. Okay, okay, cool. But I was very serious, but they took it like as a like joke. As a joke, okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. mm, so that was um, actually the first time I saw him. I see yeah, apart from that, I saw him like afar. Mm -hmm. Whenever I saw him, he was on his own way. And I never thought of him like, I don't know you, you are not my friend. Yeah, that kind of thing. So we we met again at a party. Aha! Uh -huh. okay, now we're getting <laughs> some things. All right, whose party was it? It was a friend's party. Okay. Yes. So... Um, mm -hmm. I was invited actually. Um, I remember I planned not to go, mm -hmm. but my friends, oh, oh, Charlie, let's go, let's go, and all that. And they needed some people to serve, like, mm -hmm. yeah, at the party. And they were convincing me, like, no, 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 I'm not going. I don't like those party mm -hmm. things, so I'm not going. Mm -hmm. But they succeeded in convincing encouraging me, me okay. and convincing me to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you I finally uh -huh. went for the party. Lo and behold, yes. Mr. Dadson is there. I saw him and I was like, ah, isn't that Pakwesi? So um, not knowing he heard me. Oh. Because he was the SRC treasure by then. Okay, so he won. And yes, he oh. won. Congrats, okay. Yeah. And the kind of person I saw him to be, I didn't expect him to be at the party. Why? How, how did you perceive him? Like, what was it that you thought, oh, this, he I, be at this party? I, he I, like <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He was like, was he crefe? Was he like, yes, I thought like, that, yeah, he was so oh, crefe and all oh, that. Okay. Oh, my. So, I didn't expect him to be at the party, mm -hmm. and I didn't seem to be that party or uh, yo yo guys on campus and all that. Yes, mm -hmm. very gentle. Yes, so mm -hmm. I was so surprised seeing him. So when I saw him, I just passed that comment. I was talking to my friend actually, not knowing that he heard he me. Heard you? Oh, okay. So uh, he called my friend, <laughs> and he was like, "Ah, who mentioned my name?" Mm -hmm. So my friend told him that it was me. Then she came back to me and said, oh, Piquet wants to see you. Mm -hmm. 
I was like, oh, me, I'm not going, you know. I just passed the com- Like, it's not that I wanted to talk to him. Like, I don't even know him. Mm-hmm. He's not my friend. Yes. So, mm-hmm. I think I was, yeah, at the party, doing my own thing, walking about and all that. I was sitting at one place, and he came to me and asked for a dance. Oh. Uh, the one... <laughs> The one you thought was, you know, yes, all goody two shoes. That he he actually approached you, approached me, to dance. yes. Hey. And I said no. I said no. Like oh, you turned him down. Uh, yes, I can't dance with. No, I don't know you. You are not my friend. I know. Hey. <laughs> I can't dance with you. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so well, Madam Shakara, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I told turned him down. Yeah, I turned him down. Then uh, I moved from there. Said, okay, so how can he get to me and all that? Oh. So, oh, I'm on campus. So, mm. I think he asked for my number. Legon girls. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for okay. my number. Yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, you let me give you my number. Fine. If you call me, I can choose to pick or not. So you wanted to pick that. Ah, but actually, I wanted him as a friend. Okay. okay. So, yes, so I wanted him as a friend. Okay. Yes. Okay. It so is, I just so gave him the number. Like, ah, really? Are you sure? <laughs> okay. So you gave him the number. Yeah, I gave him the number. Okay. And did he call you <laughs> soon afterwards? Yes, he called me the next day. Oh, all right. He called me the next day. So when you saw his number, what did you think? That okay, he's serious. <laughs> Yes, I actually didn't know that that was his number. So when you called, he introduced himself. And, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> he wanted to come over to my room. I said, no, I'm not around. I'm going to see my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you were lying. I was you lying. Were lying. <laughs> of course. That's a t- that's a oh, oh, this trick in the book. When you, just want, you don't want the guy to really, you know. Oh, I boyfriend. told him I was going yes. to see my boyfriend. He's like, oh, okay. Oh, he said, oh, okay. Then that's fine. When I get back, I should let him know. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I got back, I didn't call him. Yes. Then he called me. He said, can I see you tomorrow? He said, mm. <laughs> so, Shakara, Charlie, you have patience, though. In fact, let me talk to you now. So you give her the, the, all that she said so far. That's that's what uh, happened. Exactly. exactly okay. Really did. okay. I think um, we had gone to the party. Now yeah. I gone to the party with my friend. Actually, I do also want to go, but then I got a couple of uh, maybe it was divine. <laughs> I got a couple mm-hmm. of friends to, to pull me there. You know how on campus, if there's a party, you go in and you don't go with any girls. How you're going to gnash? It's either you're gnashing big time or you try to find your way. So that <laughs> I mean that night was was something else. I think she came in as my angel because mm. she was the only one I could talk to. <laughs> the party was so busy. I mean, girls were passing here and there. Mm-hmm. People were dancing, enjoying. But I was just gnashing. Oh, you know? and because and she was gnashing too. Don't mind it. She was also <laughs> she tried to act like she was cool. She was gnashing, but she couldn't let you know that. Uh, exactly. You know, she's a woman, so she couldn't let and you because know. Because of that. my you know position as SLC treasurer, I didn't really want to be in the open for people. Just like she said. I, I don't okay. Know. She was really surprised to see me then. That was a place that people like us in quotes were. Wait, 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 what's people like us? Yes. SRG trend yes. in four days. Like, I mean, it's like campus posts. Exactly. Yes. 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 You know how on campus people see you and just like you pre- see oh. pres- the president of Ghana, you know, at a party, you know, or at that kind of party. Oh. You really expect it. So, okay. That, that, that is what happened. So I, well, I said, fine, if, if, if you didn't give me a dance, then why not? Maybe we can take it after. So I took the number, like she said, I called. <laughs> and I think at the time there was there was really someone there so it was kind of difficult to get close but she just told you she was lying or was it okay I, I'm not sure if she was lying about whether she was going to see the boyfriend but I think there oh, was a guy there was someone in the picture in, kind in, of in life yeah that was that was that was making it difficult for me too because I realized anything I try to you know make a move it bounces back make but you didn't give up back. no though. I didn't I didn't I actually, even though I, you suspected there was someone there yeah so actually, she's not as creepy as you thought. <laughs> <laughs> not as innocent as you thought, you know. Okay. I actually went, went off for some time, but I felt like, wow, I mean, let me just keep this, you know, cool. 
Mm -mm. I felt like I was too rational. Because I was, oh, okay. I was really hyper. I wanted to you know, land this girl. Hey, what, what was it about her? Because she, the, the small shaka rash is done here. So I'm like, in your situation, you must have been really frustrated. Like, hey, this girl. Yeah. Or is it that, you know, they say that men like a challenge. They like it when a woman is a bit hard to get. You know, you have to work a bit. And she was making you work a little bit. So was that attractive I, to I you? At the time I saw at a party, um, well, it was love at first sight for me. Hey. I don't know if it was really true love. Is this the first time you're hearing that, this? That kind of, that kind of, thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That kind of infatuation. Yeah, it, it was, it was, she really moved me. She really caught my mm. eyes and all that. And I really wanted to follow up and make sure that, mm. you know, I, I, I landed. So I, I went, you know, off for some time because I realized that um, she was being difficult. I went off. And at the time, we well, was almost getting to the Christmas break. Okay. So, well, as, as I said, it was so uncomfortable, but she went mm. home. And I think... On my bed there was something. I realized that she had used my picture as a DP. Hey. I was like, ah, wait, this girl how mean? did we fast forward to that one? <laughs> <laughs> as I said earlier on, I wanted him as a friend already. Like I admired him from afar. But he wasn't my friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. so stealing my pictures. <laughs> <laughs> no, we no, we've already like I think we had a chat on yeah, WhatsApp already, yeah. and you but you you took his picture because that's got a big step. When you put someone's picture as the DP, either, oh. you, either the person is a really good friend or you are in a relationship. No, but oh no no no. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's the opposite sex, especially if it's the opposite. Okay, because, and because and you know why? People will ask you questions, and you know if it's the opposite sex. If it's another girl, then they'll just say, "Oh, that's a friend." But once you put a guy's picture there. You oh. know, and I'm sure people were asking you that, hey, whose picture is this that you put on your DP? Hey, yeah, they were, but I mean, um, for me, I think it's just nice to just celebrate someone on your yeah, DP. You wanted... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> his, your DP part, you changed it to his picture. This was, no, that at was all. A sign. That was a sign that you were interested. No, at all. At all. At okay, all. You know Let him keep talking. Because okay, so I think uh, when I saw that, I, I really got encouraged. So of course, like thank was, you. Like, there was, you know, for, cause like you were saying, for for you to take that bold step, it, it just doesn't happen. And I knew that <laughs> what well, was someone, you know, in the background. That's so, what even makes it worse. But, but, so that's why I don't believe you. Oh, you have a boyfriend oh, and you put another man's picture. <laughs> oh, your DP. But, but, but then the you know, because <laughs> this one, yes. it was my birthday. And because of my position as a I wasn't so this sure. This your position. You really used this part. <laughs> of course, I had to capitalize on it. I mean, <laughs> so I wasn't so sure if it was, I mean, really what I was thinking or it was just one of those normal celebrities. So I just okay. kept it cool. Things, you know, moved on and on and on and on. I think so we we're just waiting for, you know, for us to see each other on campus. And we had been talking <laughs> in the vacation and all that. So. Okay. On, on a faithful day, I mean, I had also known my intent, let's say, known my intention before, but she was still reluctant, you know. And once we met again, when school reopened, she came. I that day, I mean, I made sure that I would just, you know, package myself very well. So when she got to school, I was like, I mean, how's your room? Is it fixed? She said, No. I said, Okay, fine. Let me just get some cleaners to clean your room for you. <laughs> and, uh, well, is this what goes on on campus? <laughs> I mean, if, if you need something, if you really want something, you need to you know, go all out there and do what you can. You know? It's true. Yeah. So I had to organize some cleaners, clean up a room, you know, <laughs> the the room scrub the bathhouse, and, and all that. So. And I'm sure people were like, is he using SRC money <laughs> to <put?" laughs> Of course, they said it. <laughs> oh, they said it. <laughs> I was joking. They actually thought, hey, yes. the way he's calling this girl, Charlie. Uh, money. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So, 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 I mean, we met in the evening, and um, because I mean, she was, she wanted, I needed to give her time to pack, pack her up and all that. Mm -hmm. So we met in the evening, and well, I was like, okay, now you're in school. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I don't really want to know much about the the one who was in the background. Mm -hmm. I I really don't know whether it was really someone in the background or it was one of those girls' tricks, you know. Mm -hmm. like, here am I. Here you are. I love you. I want to. I want to go out to you. What do you say? And I think at that moment, I don't know if it was. <laughs> she she just couldn't say no. And <laughs> that was the beginning of our of our relationship. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> so when he hit you with the rap, <laughs> what? Okay, let's just let's just answer this one. Was there? Was the guy? Did he exist, or was he like made up? 
okay there was someone in the scene but like um our relationship wasn't defined like oh. we are not going out we are friends we like each other Ooh. yes and then along comes mr treasurer <laughs> and hits, you, hits you with the the wraps the sweet words cleaning your room you know preparing the foundation to woo you you can't resist <laughs> Right, like you, you, you were, yeah. by that time you made up your mind. So bye bye to the other guy. Yes, because I'd always, I'd also waited for long, like for him to commit. Yes, define our relationship. And he wasn't yes. doing it. So I just had to let go. You see, let this be a lesson to the young men out there. You keep a girl hanging for so long, somebody else will come in and swoop in and do what you didn't do, and then you'll be crying at the end of it. <laughs> okay. That's a really nice intro to your relationship. What we're going to do now is do a little quiz. And how it works is one of you will stay here and answer questions from me while the other one leaves us, okay? okay. Then when you return, we'll find out if your spouse got the answers right. So who's going to stay and who's going to go? I'll stay. <laughs> All right. The SRC treasurer is staying. <laughs> so when we come back, I'll be here with Mr. Dadson. And Mrs. Dadson is going to step out. And I'm going to ask Mr. Dadson how well he knows his wife. We fly, we soar, we rise away. We overcome, come in any weather. There is no end to what we can imagine. When we live and love and live this dream is our way. Yomi, always different, truly different. Now, let's have some fun with Mr. Dadson. It's time for how well do you know your spouse? And I've got some nice questions lined up for him. So are you ready? Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Who would cry first at a wedding? You or your wife? Me. You get emotional at weddings. <laughs> well, I think I, it's because I, I cried at my wedding. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I did, I did first. So. Oh, isn't that sweet? Okay. This is nice and emotional. You're sensitive as well. <laughs> you got vibes, pa. Okay. What is the first thing your wife says when she picks your call? So if you call her and she answers, what does she say? Well, I call her babe and she responds as boo. Oh, really? Hey. Romantic couple, pa. Babe and boo. <laughs> hey. All right. Which of these Ghanaian female artists mm -hmm. is her favorite? Becca, Ifia, Ebony, or Ms. Bell? Well, I think she's, she's really into, you know, into to gospel music. But then okay. if I should choose one among the four, I think she'll go with Becca. Mm. All right. Nice choice. Which day and month? Was she born? She was born in May. Uh huh. And then on 7th May. So that was on Tuesday. Hey, you even know the day of the week. Hey, or she's up now? Yeah, she's up now. Okay. Nice. Sorry, I mean Thursday. She's here. Oh, Sorry. Thursday. Yeah, okay, yeah. she's here. Mm. May 7th. Uh, May 7th, yeah, 92. She's got it right. Okay. Who is more caring, you or her? I think I am. I can believe that. <laughs> the, way <laughs> you, the way you moved her, Charlie. <laughs> I can believe it, man. The last three digits of your mobile number. 7767. Seven, seven. So 767. Seven. Those are the last three digits. Yes. Okay. 767. Seven. Cool. What's the first gift she gave you? First gift was on my birthday, and that was a, a card and a perfume. Ooh. And some few items that. Okay. It, what what are the few items? Think, or it's not for public I, I consumption. Was, <laughs> well, I think I think the shirt there was a, a shirt. I think. Okay. Yeah, but it was largely perfume and then, you know, the birthday card. card. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Which household chores does she like doing the most? She loves her kitchen. Okay. And so she would want to, you know, tidy up the kitchen most of the time. Okay. Nice. And lastly, what is your mother-in-law's full name? Rebecca Coconati. Oh, nice. All right. We're done, Mr. Dadson. <laughs> now we have to test your knowledge okay. by inviting Mrs. Dadson back in studio. Let's see if he got all the answers right. And we're back. So, Mr. Dadson was in the hot seat. Mrs. Dadson is back now. It's time for us to compare results, right? <laughs> Here we go. She's already laughing and giggling. All right, so I have a few questions for your husband. We just want to see whether he knows you as well as you think he does, okay? First question was, who would cry first at a wedding? You or him? Ah! <laughs> hey! Him! <laughs> hey, this is really good. You're right. That's exactly what he said. I was surprised. But I think it's great, though. Because he cried at our wedding. That's exactly what he said. Yes. But he was very emotional. Like, oh. And you're the hardcore one. You notice? Oh, I cried later. later. <laughs> okay. The first thing your partner says, that's you. So I asked him, the first thing she says when she picks your call. So what's the first thing you say when he calls you and you answer? Boo. Oh, you're right, <laughs> yes. Boo boo. <laughs> Which of these female artists is your favorite? Becca, Ifia, Ebony, or Miss Bell? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to pick one of the four, who would you pick? Uh, then I'll pick Becca. Oh, yeah. Good one. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Okay. Which day and month were you born? Day. Thursday. Okay. Um, and the month? May. And the date? 7th. 100%. <laughs> Never forget her birthday. Good man, good man. Who is more caring, you or him? <laughs> Both of us are caring, <laughs> but... <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's peeing you to say that it's him. <laughs> Why? It's me. Oh. He says it's him. Yes, he's caring, like, I don't know. We are both, like, caring. <laughs> but he says he's more caring than you. Hey. He is, though. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay. The last three digits of his phone number. <laughs> seven, six, seven. Excellent. Flying colors. And she didn't even have to ask which one, which number. Because he said he has lots of numbers. Yes, mm. he does. Okay. <laughs> What's the first gift you gave him? A perfume, card. Yes, I gave him a card. It was on Val's Day. Oh, well, you got the gift right. He said it was his birthday. Yeah. But you got the gift right. Unless his birthday is Val's Day. No. It was on Val's day. Really? Okay. But he got it right, though. He said <laughs> perfume, card. So you got that right. Which household chores do you like doing the most? Cooking. Cooking. Well, it's kitchen related. He said you love keeping your kitchen. Kitchen, yeah. Very tidy clean. and stuff. He did say, he said you really love your kitchen. Okay, I'll give you 50% 50 on that one. Okay, here's the last question. What's your mother's full name? <laughs> Rebecca Coconati. Excellent. You actually did really well on this. Yeah, yeah. How many years of marriage? Um, I think today is exactly one year, two months, and five days. Hey! <laughs> you know, it's down to the days. Yeah. <laughs> you missed the dancing. <laughs> I don't know how many men are that accurate. I mean, you could say maybe how many years. A few might be able to get down to the months. But the days, Charlie, you, you force. You've done well. I can see why you won SRC Treasurer. You know how to get people on your side. Very well done. Yeah, he did well. Yes, he did. Yeah, you got to give him props. I think that was nice. Okay, guys. So, you've already told us how long you've been married. Why don't we talk about the wedding itself and the planning and everything. He seems like a really romantic guy. You know, a guy who really knows how to 
be creative when it comes <laughs> to that kind of stuff. So, the wedding, how was it? You, we already know that you cried, which means it was really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So, I think the, the part of our wedding, we, we had um, you know, a few challenges here and there. And okay. That made it quite stressful. Oh, like what? Planning. In terms of you know getting things in order, you know that we had we had quite a number of disappointments mm. as well. So, like you make a plan and then the next two or three days it's it just gets distorted and all that. But we able to you know gather ourselves and put everything through. Mm. And on the day you know we were just looking forward to the wedding to happening and then for us to have our lives back. So because we felt like mm. what well, this wedding is really taking like everything out of us. You, yeah. yeah, and. We went to our, went to our play. I mean, it was it was quite great, mm-hmm. very emotional wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, because I cried, and because she did, we, we actually <laughs> got a lot of the guests also, <laughs> also sharing, crying. sharing in the tears. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and I think it was it was really emotional. Mm-hmm. It was really an, an emotional wedding. And the feedback that we got after was that um, most of the people said, "Well, our wedding has been a one of the." You know, the best wedding they've attended. So I don't know what was so special about it, but... Oh. What was special about it for you? What brought, what brought tears to your eyes? Well, I think I I was really looking forward to that day when I would, you know, mm. settle down with with her. Um, you know, we had not dated for long. I think we started dating in 2014, and um, in 2016, we were getting married. Mm-hmm. And all along, we've been with each other because I was on campus. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we were on campus, and then when I finished school, I got a job. We're still in touch. I mean, I could go. I, I remember, I think, in a week, anytime I close, I'll go to the, I mean, t- to a hall. Mm. And on Saturdays, Sundays, we're always together. Mm. So, I'm like, I mean, man, I'm, I'm really tired of this. <laughs> Why can't I just, you know, bundle it to my house? I mean, so, I was just looking forward to that day where... Where well, she'd be with you. Yeah, with me, and I can call her my... <laughs> Oh, my very own and my wife. So. Look at that! <laughs> oh, sweet. Eh? And you were scratching this guy. Oh, <laughs> but it's good. You're, you're 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 there now. Okay. So a year and a couple of months and five days into mm-hmm. marriage, you you have a daughter. Yes. yes. A beautiful little girl. Motherhood. What was that like? Becoming a mom. Okay. <laughs> it's it's amazing. I would say. Yeah. Yes. Since childhood, I've loved babies. Mm. Yes. So for me, it's not too difficult. Okay. Okay. It's, I think it's a great blessing mm-hmm. for me to just look at my baby like <laughs> it's not a bird one. It's my <laughs> own baby. Out of you. Yes. <laughs> my body made it. Yes. Exactly. Like it's amazing. <laughs> I keep on looking at her like <laughs> each minute. And I talk to her a lot. I love the job, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you, being a father? I think it's, it's fun. Yeah. Um, well, because I'm young. And it's, it's really you know, nice to have mm-hmm. you know, a baby girl. Yes, fathers and their daughters. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it's really fun. Um, mm-hmm. Well, for now, nothing so challenging has come. Maybe because she's still, I don't know if there would ever be, but then it's, it's really, it's really fun. I, I love to go to work and then I'm always in a hurry to come back home to, oh, that's to have my, my, my baby. Your girl. baby girl, <laughs> your baby, your girls, in fact. Yeah. Yes, your girls. Okay. All right. More kids in the future? Are you planning for any more? I know, you know how it goes. You have one and then people start saying, oh, so she needs a sibling or... She I needs know, a second right. one. They start putting pressure. Like you had one, it's great. You can enjoy yourself. But do you plan on having any more? Yes, yes. We well for me before we got married, I, I wanted to have five. Yeah, yeah. But I think we negotiated. Oh, okay. So what was the compromise? Two, three. Three. Uh, so she's she's we're looking forward to a twin at least. Oh, then like, bam, yes. one time. So, yeah. Finish. <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. Okay, <laughs> guys, we we love hearing this story. We think it's amazing. And since you were able to give us the exact years, months, days that you've been married, we'll give you a one year, two months, and five days anniversary presents. 
thanks to our sponsors <laughs> for the Mr. and Mrs. show. So yeah, we'll be gifting Mr. and Mrs. Datsun in just a minute. We fly, we soar, we ride away, we Different, truly different. All right, I've got my goodies ready. I'm not keeping them. I'm giving them to Mr. and Mrs. Dadson, okay? And as we do that, I'm going to say a very big thank you to our sponsors for doing this. So, Yummy Yogurt, thank you very much. We all love Yummy Yogurt, don't we? And we can find it everywhere, pretty much. So, pick up some Yummy Yogurt and tell them thank you for supporting the Mr. and Mrs. show. We'll be taking some Yummy Yogurt home as well. Excella Fabrics and Design, thank you for my outfit and for the fabric as well. And you can get yours from there. Get your outfit made and buy some nice fabric. 26 673 Seven five five lace gallery. Yep, you know you need some lace. Go to lace gallery. Zero two six eight two nine three eight eight seven. Our friends at Ella Caddy are giving lovely jewelry for our couple. Zero two four one zero five three two four three. You can call Ella Caddy to get something to jazz up your outfits. Okay, Kente Glam for that luxurious Kente fabric. Call them on zero two zero one one seven five five four six. And if you want something sweet, Silly's Cakes and Treats, they've got you covered. 054-879-6495. I wish I could keep it, but I can't. It's for you. <laughs> so do enjoy. Thank you. Okay. And here are all of your gifts from our sponsors. Wow. Oh. Thank you very, very much Thank for coming on the too. Mr. and Mrs. Show. Thank and you. enjoy them. <laughs> enjoy the one year, two months, five days <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> And all the best to you in the future as Thank well you. Thank as you. you continue in marriage. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Dadson, a lovely couple. I just love the story. I'm going to remember this one for a very long time, <laughs> especially the SRC Treasurer vibes. Amazing. <laughs> I'm cleaning the girlfriend's room. <laughs> anyway. Guys, thank you for tuning in to the Mr. and Mrs. Show. We've had a wonderful time. And if you want to appear on the show, follow us on social media. Get in touch with Enac Consult. You'll see the information on your screen. And you too could be here talking about your marriage and your love story. It's been a pleasure hosting the show tonight. Thank you very much to Hilda of HO Beauty Bar for the makeup and to Bessie for styling my hair today. Thank you for watching Mr. and Mrs. Show. Bye-bye. Shed your diamond. Shed your diamond. Shed your diamond.